Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film a tutorial, a makeup tutorial for people that wear glasses. I got tons of requests to film this video and I decided finally to do it. But it is just gold eyeshadow on your lids and a bright bold lip which I love personally with glasses because I feel like it just kind of balances out and it's really complimentary like it looks really good with glasses like bold lips, any lips, red lips, coral, pink, I'm wearing a plum purple. If you guys want to see how I can get this look, then keep watching. I have some like outdated ones that are four years old. I should probably get new ones to be honest. Mine just look like this. They're not big frames. I would like bigger ones, but you know. I'm pretty sure these are like unisex ones, but I still wear them. These are just from... I think I got them from Specsavers. They don't even have that green reflective thing because I think I was kind of broke when I got them and I couldn't afford to get reflective things so I was like that's all right I don't really need them so you can probably see my ring lights in them yeah so for me personally I often get makeup on those little pads here I also get those little um red marks I'm not gonna put on any false lashes if you want to that's up to you but for me personally it just gets a bit annoying hitting the um frame I really like bold lip with glasses just because it kind of balances it out and it also draws attention to like your mouth I don't know, I just kind of think it's kind of chic, very pretty, so we're going to do that. Oh my gosh, just by that, see I already have marks. That's how quick I get them. I'm going to use my professional, sorry if it's real bright. You guys know what it looks like. If your glasses sit on your cheeks, then you kind of want the makeup to stay. And get your nose. The foundations I've been liking lately are the L'Oreal Lumi Magic and the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This one's in DW6 Gold Camel, this one is in 06 Sand Beige. My Zoeva Silk Finish Brush, get the L'Oreal foundation and just kind of pop it around the edges of my face. I just put it everywhere aside from my nose. So once that's on, I just grab some of that Milani one, put a little bit underneath my eyes and on my cheeks. It's like thicker and higher coverage, so I kind of just use it as a brightening foundation slash concealer. And I'm also going to put some on the tip of my nose because that's where I have most of the color pigmentation because I got some burn, yo. I'm just going to grab a beauty blender. I didn't even soak this in water, you guys. I'm not bothered. <laughs> And I'm just going to pat some of that underneath my eyes. I didn't put anything over here where the glasses sits. Coffee break. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. Sometimes I feel like that Milani one does good, but then I always want more concealer. On my forehead. Surface Master Fix, whatever it's called, spray. <laughs> and just pat that in. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like absolutely no makeup here and you can still see like my freckles. I think you probably can't because it's just... Then I'm going to grab my... Grab a translucent powder. I'm going to grab my Face of Australia translucent loosening powder. I'm just going to press that underneath my eyes and we want to really set this. Like put as much as you want. I, you don't usually bake. We're kind of doing that. I'm going to grab my Anastasia contour palette and the brush. The Sigma Small Contour Brush and grabbing Fawn, Fawn and Havana, these two. And I'm just gonna jizzing out my cheekbones. I don't know why I'm feeling a harsh contour today, so we're just gonna do it. This would actually be like a good how to bake tutorial. I want to use this time to go do my brows while I wait for all this. We're gonna try to do what we can with these brows. Now I like to give it quite a decent arch. Oh my gosh, this one needs to be trimmed. Do I have my brow scissors with me? Like I said, I like to go for a, um, quite a decent arch so you can actually see them. My brows look real strong, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Once that's done, I'm just gonna set my eyelids with some powder. Oh my 
gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm covered in powder. Brush away all of the powder. I'm just gonna grab my Stila Eyes of the Window Soul Palette and I'm gonna grab the... Let's try to use this whole palette. I'm gonna use this shade here which is individual. So this is a 224 Luxe Define Crease by Zoeva. Shade here which is Being, the dark brown. And just put that into the outer corner just to add some depth. Until we are satisfied. The whole idea is I want to create like some depth and dimension on the edges and have it quite bright and open in the middle. Grab this shade here which is Thought the Gold. You can spray your brush with anything, Fix Plus, setting spray, water. Go over the edges. So I'm just going to add some of that gold shade on my lower lashes, on my inner corner. I'm just going to grab the Balm Liquid Liner in Schwing. Got some black eyeshadow from that Stila palette, but I just find that it kind of sets it and also smudges out the line a little bit. Just kind of makes it a little bit softer. Let me just sanitize this. Yes, I'm going to pop some nude eyeliner in my waterline. And that's going to make my eyes super big. If you don't like really big spider lashes, then that's okay. I love them. Next, I'm gonna grab a blush from my NARS Stephen Klein palette. I'm gonna go for these two together, which is Luster and Dolce, Dolce Vita. I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Nightingale lip pencil and line my lips. Now for this, I would say just use a lip liner that is a bit harder and it's drier because I used my Kylie Hawk K, the purple one, but I just kind of smeared around the edges because it's quite creamy. I sell like the MAC ones. I'm going to be using Huda Beauty's Material Girl Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Matte. This is LA Girls Concealer in Cool Tan. Because we've got gold in our eyes, I'm just going to use the Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca. With my fan brush. When am I not using this fan brush? I swear. Now that's done, make sure you set your makeup. I'm gonna use one by Scandinavia. That's what the finished look looks like. Look looks like. So I just like having a bold lip. I also love pairing it with bright red lips. My eyes still look quite big and open. I've got like no makeup around my nose. Don't know why I look so pale right now. I love this pale. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys thought of the look down below. If you guys have any other requests and leave them down in the comments as well. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hi guys. I honestly wish that I loved wearing glasses as much as I do now back when I was younger. I had to wear them when I was eight, I think up till eight. Hated them, felt like such a nerd. But now I love them. So if you're watching this and you're young, don't feel like wearing glasses is like not a nice thing because now I love them and it's great being able to see. And if you guys have any other requests, then leave them down the little Lexifus Master Fix, whatever it's called, spray. <laughs>
Wow, 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 wow.